Okay guys, Akumodo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. Um, after six days um, <laughs> that I have been watching the market and I haven't given you guys an update because of course we were like bouncing after this such a poignant dump here. Uh, but now, of course, what we have is that uh, it's hard to see this chart differently that, than when I am uh, charting it here, right? What we see is one, two, three, clear, a, a, a clear motive impulse wave down that needs to be uh, concluded. So we wouldn't have here the, the fifth wave that is, um, that is, is yet to be completed. So wave four here, the fourth wave, is likely to get to higher levels. Why? Because we, the, the second wave here, we haven't had a, a, a really, a really deep second wave. So according to the alternation rule, the fourth wave would be deeper. We have got into the 38, 20 percent. Uh, the third wave here of this one, two, three, of this uh, white Elliott wave here degree. This is a a sub micro. Let, let me increase the the degree minuet. Indeed, uh, it's way better. <clears throat> so we might see a, a some sort of triangle. In uh, actually, again, uh, uh, based upon the alternation rule. With such a poignant wave two here, uh, I would say that we would. Uh, I would say that definitely it's not a surprise if we see this wave four going on and on until next year, okay? And then we won't see a, a new low until next year. That, that's that's likely. We would see some kind of triangle here, some kind of formation. This might be only the first wave. We might get to the 50% here. We might see a bounce, uh, 4,500, and then it would start dumping, but not establishing a new low. But this is totally, uh, uh, this is hypothetical. I, I can't say that we're gonna see something like this. Okay. We might speculate it, okay? We might. This is what I'm proposing, a series of higher lows in a, ser a series of uh, lower highs here, right? Forming a triangle and then dumping, okay? After such a, a, a critical event that we had, remember guys, uh, let me just change here to the daily chart. This is Phoenix, mm. this is Bitstamp, okay. After such a poignant event, when we broke here this resistance and this was like, oh my goodness, right? We won't get back. We won't back. We won't. We won't get back uh, to six six five hundred, uh, <laughs> which would be our uh, our target for a, a long uh, sooner than we expect. We need to wait for it. Yeah? We are now three hundred and uh, three hundred and fifty days in this correction. Thirty five percent of the the time that we spend it's, it's more than one year so congratulations for us that we have been in this in this in this journey together and we have yet to reach those targets here right we have one one really significant target here which i have pointed out and we touched it right this would be our third wave and this is 3500 Yes, we have this support here. Next support region is 3K around this. This is the, 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 the key region for us. We might stop here. We don't know that. Okay, we might have one last leg, like a fifth wave here, uh, ending diag, then we would go up. We might, or we might get to this marked acceptance here, which I, I marked here which is the minus 33, 60 percent of this, this structure here, okay? This is uh, the first, 
the first uh, Fibonacci retracement here, we have this target here. So it's uh, an important target. The market seems to be looking at this target with some kind of interest. So we don't know yet. We need to to be honest. We need to be uh, to, we need to be paying attention, of course. Now, but don't expect huge movement. Uh, at least uh, the way I see it, I, I think we won't see huge movements until next year. The market is gonna be stale for at least one month. Okay, so that's why I'm. I think that this is Bitfinex. I don't know what I was doing here. Is this 12 hours? Yes, because I trade on Phoenix. I think that we're gonna get to this 50% here. Remember, Phoenix is uh, $100, $150 above the market. So, kind of weird. Well, let's, let's get back to Bitstamp here. So, this is what we have, guys. We have the fourth wave. And we have this pattern here, this this channel here that's forming. I don't know if you want to call it a bear flag, but it, we have a lot of room to cover. It's not uh, it's not finished. We might go. We are touching now the 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 bottom line here of this of this trend line. We might go up a little bit and down and up, touch this fifty percent and down. Um, what I recommend you guys though, if you are day trading, if you are swing trading, don't trade against the, the don't don't trade against the trend. The trend is going down, so don't trade, don't enter longs now. Okay? You might lose a lot of opportunities of small profits. I, I give you guys that. It's it's not a perfect system. But if you enter a long here and the mark just decide to go down because that's the trend and it was enough this first this fourth wave here you're gonna lose money a lot of money because this is gonna breach this third wave here and going down you might say though that you are gonna put a stop loss here okay it's uh it's your style it's not a problem if you have a stop loss or if in if you are managing your losses it's okay to enter along a now I would say it's, uh, I don't know the risk, but if you are taking this pattern as a, you're gonna need to have some kind of break like this, and uh, this is a risk reward of two. I don't like this risk reward, okay? I don't like, indeed. So see, you, you would need to enter now. This is the price, and I don't know, if you want a tight stop loss, then you might have a better risk of reward ratio. But would you enter this kind of trade? I don't know, I don't like, okay? A lot of people would say, oh, it's a nice risk reward ratio. Sometimes I'm trade like this. I do 1%, 2%. This is, this is pretty much my style. I like to enter the market really quickly and, and exit it like after 1% only or 2% of, most yeah. but this is not when we are in a bear market like this okay it's different the market might surprise us quite easily and we would lose the opportunity of getting this short which is what i'm looking at i want to get this short here that's why i'm gonna enter a short here okay and i actually i entered the short here I enter a bit of here. It's not a problem for me. I'm entering and I'm laddering my shorts. So then when when it gets down, I'm 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 averaging I'm averaging the price here around this region here, which would be roughly forty two hundred and and then I'm gonna I'm gonna take my profit at this target here, minus thirty three sixty percent, minus thirty eight thirty eight twenty percent, and who knows if we get to this target here minus 618 this would be t 2k guys it's not impossible actually i think that it might, it might be the target right if we look at the daily chart here we have this target here 80 80 70 percent of retracement is 2k 
2200. We have this target here, guys. If we are to get to the 80, 80, 70 percent of retracement, we will, we are gonna get to this target here. Okay. Remember, we have this minus 36 percent target before that, though. So we have plenty of targets to the downside, and, uh, and I don't see a lot of perspective to the bulls. Okay. Um, okay. So a, a quick. Um, a quick piece of advice to all the people that are asking me how to enter this market now, and is it is 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 Bitcoin dead? I don't know. Honestly, is Bitcoin dead? I don't know. It might be. It might be. Do you trust the? the do you believe in the crypto technology? That, that's a that's a basic question. Are you gonna? Do you really wanna get into this kind of asset? It's re, it's pretty simple. Start buying uh, little shares, little. Just buy a little bit. Uh, how much do you have to invest? That if you lose everything, you're not gonna regret afterwards. This is regret management, guys. If you have ten thousand dollars, and if you lose everything. You're gonna invest in a given asset, and you lose everything. 10k is gonna be a really loss for you, a huge loss for you. If the answer is yes, don't invest because this is the amount of money that you are really that that's important for you, and you are not a professional or you're not you are not a specialist. So wait for it, and I don't know, get uh, study the market more. Feel, try to feel more comfortable with it, but always think about the regret management. How, how much regret can you uh, really uh, can you really bear in the future uh, without really losing your mind or being like the whole 2019 regret that oh my goodness I should have done that no. Instead of doing that, imagine you in the future. Oh, what would be for me in the future if I lose 10K or $1 million? I don't know. The amount is up to you, okay? And then you start buying. In, in, you start buying. I would buy now. It's a really good price. Remember, you just need to see the, the history of the asset. We, we have... Re, we, we have we traced seven to eight actually we have we traced um let me get another chart here this one here we have we traced 81 percent it's up to you right 81 percent that we, we see 80 80 70 you start buying here buy buy a little bit here and then here and then here as it goes down you start you you increase the pot you increase the amount of uh, amount of uh, you increase the amount of uh, of your of your the amount of as uh, the amount of your of uh, of your investment. Sorry, and then you establish yourself a, a, a limit. Two K, for instance. I don't know. It's a, if it gets to two K, I am gonna invest a lot. Me personally, I'm gonna invest a lot. Not in Bitcoin, but in other, in other altcoins that are gonna follow Bitcoin's uh, Bitcoin's fall. Bit LTC, for instance, I like it. Okay, you start leathering your buys. Buy a little bit at 4K. Buy a little bit at 3K. Buy a little bit at 2K. Okay, this, for instance, those had uh, had dotted lines here are the prices that i'm gonna buy we have here the 2d sequential here the 2d sequential i'm gonna buy a 2k of course i'm gonna buy a little bit uh let's say i'm gonna buy a little bit more here this is separate from my from my day trading this is not my day trading perspective this is my investment perspective. It's different, guys. Okay, I'm not trading with this with this money here. 
I'm gonna just invest. Okay, this is my investment money. I'm gonna buy a little bit here. That's why I have this this kind of this pitchfork. This is a shift pitchfork. Okay, it's I don't know if this is a this is a really significant pitchfork for this movement, but I just had this higher point here, this lowest point here, and then this X point here. Then I have this target here. We have the shift go pointing to this to this lower targets here. Um, so 3k would be a nice price. 4k is a nice price. 3500 is a nice price. And that 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 those are points that I'm gonna start that I'm laddering my buys. If you are if you are to of course to think about only buying and investing buy and forget okay it's not your trading money okay it would be something like this 2600 and then 2k perhaps okay this is how you enter a market okay it doesn't matter if it the market is the it's going up you, you, you need to enter you don't know exactly what kind of movement to expect so you enter and see what's going on okay you enter you you are sure that the market is going up but you don't just jump in and buy everything and just wait for the market to give you the money it, it's not like this it's not it's gonna fail eventually you might get success you might be successful in the first attempt but after a while you're gonna lose everything <laughs> that's that's statistics you're gonna become a statistics okay um, so sorry for this uh, long this rave. I'm talking about something rather different than the top at hand, but it's it's about regret management, which is the the thing that I I believe is the the, the most important piece piece of device or mental mental exercise that I I recommend you guys. Okay, remember. You're gonna re you're gonna regret things way more than you're gonna be be happy with your gains. We that that's what that's that's us. We humans, we regret way more than we cherish our gains. So <laughs> act accordingly. <laughs> so I'm waiting for this wave four. Okay. Do we have uh, do we have an uh, alternate count? I have, uh, of course, I have watched other analysts. They have different counts. They have, a, they they propose this as a one, two, and then a three. I don't know. This is part of a triangle. I can't see this differently. I don't know if you guys have, if you if if it's the first time you guys are watching this. This is my A, B, and C. Okay, this is this is the whole structure for me. B is a triangle in the way I'm putting it. B is a triangle here, and C is now C has started here, and now it's going down. This is the way I see it. If you guys have a different way, a different count, I would like to to hear about it. That's why we have our Discord group. Okay, um, so uh, I think it's enough. Thanks for watching, guys. We have our Discord group, as I was talking about, is Crypto, Tr Crypto Trader Educational Institute. There you can post your views. You can say, oh, what do you think about this count? Or what do you think about this chart here? You think that Bitcoin is gonna hit 50K next year? <laughs> you might ask that. <laughs> um, and you have my, my Twitter. My Twitter handle, please. If you like my content, follow me there. I'm always try I'm always trying to, to to give you guys updates. And give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Okay? Again, thanks for watching. It's always a pleasure to have you guys here. Bye bye. Cheers.